Welcome to Brawlhalla! Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bring a game look. This time we're giving a Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is a free-to-play fighting game. It's uh, it's on Steam. It's really really small. It's only about uh, like less than 250 megabytes. Yes, 250 megabytes. A tiny game, but it's a ton of fun. It's kind of like a I would say a, a Super Smash Brothers or any of the brawl games. Um, where you kind of have this health bar that constantly increase and as the health increases the likeliness of you uh, just kind of getting knocked out of the ring increases it's it's a very fun game the difference between um i guess you know smash brothers and this is it's more weapon oriented where smash brothers kind of like the weapons that you get were almost kind of novelty i would say you know majority of it was spent using your you know your ability skills right each character has its own ability in this game it's all about the weapons each character gets two weapons that they can pick from and your kind of abilities and moves kind of depend on the weapon that you have so it's a little bit different in that regards but generally speaking it's very much like uh any of the brawl games So the game is played between legends. Legends are essentially your characters that you can pick. Um, it's kind of similar to Smite or Dota, I would say, where each day you get a rotation of legends that you can pick from. For, for example, this rotation, I get these guys. And the rotation changes. Or you can uh, buy the character and you'll have them all the time. And one of the things about this game is each character gets, as I mentioned previously, gets two weapons that they can uh, play with. So this chick gets a gun and a hammer, whereas this alien looking dude gets a, um, a lance and guns. This guy gets a hammer and a spear, whereas this chick also gets a spear. Um, one of the things I want to mention is even though, for example, these two people have the same weapon of spear, their play style is completely different. Um, the, their, even though their basic attacks are kind of similar, but their, their special attacks are completely, completely different. So now let's talk about the cash shop. Uh, for logging in, very similar to Smite, you do get a little bonus. In addition to that, you have this mission. Essentially, if you uh, win one game or play two matches with these two characters, and these this character list changes from day to day, uh, you get a reward of X amount of gold. So let's look at the cash shop. Uh, the legends is what we really care about. It's re very reasonably priced. Um, 2300 to unlock your basic uh, basic legends. And then the other ones are kind of about 3900 And the highest is what's released today. This is like the latest release at 72 Now, I have 2000 And that 2000 is playing zero uh online games playing just the bot games and nothing but just logging in so for those of you that are actually going to play this game uh, heavily you're going to have to you, it's going to be quite simple to get you know relatively high amount of gold to unlock characters especially because you do get that daily rotation as well the only thing i did not like is the the expensive skins uh, the skins are 140 mammoth tokens and mammoth tokens are are essentially what you use to buy um, you gotta use actual money to buy you don't get this in game and it's 140 and the unfortunate thing about it is 100 is five dollars and in order to get 140 you need to get the 200 one which is ten dollars and to me again so in, if you want to get any of these costumes skins whatever you need to spend essentially ten dollars in in game so it, it's a little bit on the steep end you can also get item skins for your weapons these are i think a little bit reasonable um it's about two dollars ish per uh per skin you can also get taunts um as well as sidekicks these are the guys that drop you off in the end and then finally uh color so if you want to be a different color from uh, everybody else uh, with the skins that's the only negative I can t really talk about in the cash shop uh, quite expensive considering that games like Dota skins are only like two dollars ish uh, but again I guess you can make an argument that you know skins don't really add value to the game or in terms uh, at, at any um, benefit to the game so you're not really having any pay-to-win scenario um, 
so overall i would give the the cash shop i would say like a b plus or an a minus uh, in my so you have a couple game modes that you can play couch party this is essentially a local game where you can connect multiple uh controllers and play together so it's very similar to um, you know, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, you got your single one, which is uh, kind of more like practice-ish. Uh, you have a training mode that you can just play training. as any of the released characters. Uh, you also have your tournament, which is a uh, essentially three-round tournament, and then finally versus bots, which is just a single game that you play against uh, using any of the characters that are in rotation or any of the characters that you have unlocked. You finally have uh, online mode, which is kind of a single match that you play against uh, opponents. Um, a custom one where you can really dictate all the, the game settings. And then finally, you have... Um, oh, go back. Finally, you have online. ranked, which is kind of what you would consider esports or a ladder-like system. So now let's talk about the maps. Uh, the maps in this game, to be honest, is very, very lacking. Uh, now I do have to give credit that this game is only uh, less than 200 megabytes, so it, it does ha have this kind of small scaleness. But the maps itself, uh, if, if I'm really judging it as a Smash Brothers clone, uh, it's really uninteresting because if you think about Smash Brothers, there's you know they had great maps. Think about the Pokemon map, right? The map changes every X amount of minutes. Um, think about the Donkey Kong map. The the barrel goes underneath the the match, and if you fall into the barrel, you can shoot out of it. The Star Fox map, where it kind of uh, has those ships that come in and start attacking. Uh, each map has ca character. In this game, the maps really don't have any sort of uh, I would say any character that that stands out. It's, it has some floating platforms. It has a straight platform. It has a little upper level, and that's pretty much about it. Um, th there's really no special fun mechanic in each map. Now I will give credit that this game is in beta and it's um, you know it's free to play, so they kind of don't have the capital to build all the maps. But I really think it should uh, offer some sort of uh, you know Steam Workshop or something so that people can create maps, and that will be uh, I think a big boon to the community to give us some some maps that have some sort of character. So now let's talk about the game itself, uh, the game play rather. Uh, for a free to play game, it's fantastically done. I think the characters, uh, the legends so to speak, add a really good variety of movesets. Each legend has its own kind of look and feel. And f for that end, uh, for a game that's you know one free, uh, two less than 200 megabytes, it's a beautiful, beautiful game. But I will say for a game that's kind of reminiscent of uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl or any of the Brawl games, it doesn't seem to have any weight behind it. And what I mean by that is when you hit a character, they kind of just fly off and then they just float in. You can see it right here where the guy like in, in Brawl or any other kind of Brawl-like games, majority of these characters would have been dead by now. But because it's so floaty, it seems as if they're just kind of uh, floating through the air and being able to come back into the map. Uh, so that and it's kind of, there's no, I've, I've seen really rarely have I seen where you have like a stupid mistake and you fall. And I think that's what made uh, Brawl so fun to watch is you had characters that made some, some sort of idiotic mistake, went off the map and you know, with a feeble attempt to get back on the platform, they end up dying. In this game, there it really isn't any feeble attempts. If you really try, you're going to get back on. Um, and that, to me, kind of adds a sense of boredom. Um, every knockout is just off-the-screen knockout. There's no like, oh, they accidentally fell down. Um, but it is, I know, I, I do have to give credit. It is a free-to-play game. It is also in beta. So it, it has a chance to improve. 
Uh, in that regards, I think it's a great game to try out since it's a, it's you know, cheap, it's uh, memory cheap, it's uh, resources cheap. Uh, it's a great game to try out if you know if you want to have some sort of party game uh, that you know, that doesn't cost that much. So that pretty much wraps up any kind of a general overview of this game. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think about the game. Uh, if any of my points were way off mark, if they were on mark. If you do like the video, please do like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Khalif PvP.